a nice day. <sighs> the sea's so quiet. Nothing but the horizon. Enjoy. I feel like it's been 20 million years since we've had anything this quiet. Just... No rats, no possibility of rats. Being in the ocean and all that. No enemies. Uh, not sure about those two, but no enemies for now. We can't see the continent anymore. Mother, Lucas, I hope you're safe. They're safer away from us, to be honest. Hey. <laughs> it must be great to pilot this thing. It's worth all the other troubles. Come on, take it. Oh, uh, <laughs> go on. You won't crash into anything. Because there's nothing to crash into. <laughs> so? It's amazing. It's the sea you feel. It's freedom. Thank you. For taking us. Thank God, no. I'm usually not so kind. Oh. He's a bastard, I know. <laughs> he has reasons to be deep scars. Not that it excuses- Amicia! Amicia! Oh, duty calls. I'm sorry. You're welcome. Thank you. With the water's getting on the ship. Amicia! Oh, the island. Twin Peaks. That's it! Lacuna! What does Lacuna mean? Is it Spanish? It's exactly like in my dreams. Thank you. Whatever's there, we'll find it together. Island explorers. Yes! You know, it's not important if I die. What? What are you talking about? The Magister Vaudan told me I'm going to die. Wow. God, no, Hugo, I'm so sorry. It won't happen. Don't be sad. I'm happy to be here. This boat is the best, and I like Sophia. And Anna, even if you don't like him. Sorry. Just wanted to say we'll be preparing to make land soon. I'll need your help. Just come see me when you're ready. Yes, sure. I'm happy to be here with you. These aren't things a five-year-old should have to think about. No. Oh, Hugo. So nice. I wish we could stay here forever. Yo, the water is coming on the ship. We gotta be careful. What's down here? Stuff. Hey, Arno. Oh, I'm sorry about your shield. Hmm. Isn't that shield emblem kind of like a phoenix? The phoenix from Hugo's dreams. So, it survived the fire? Yes, it would take more than that. It survived Spain, Burgundy, Guienne. Well, barely that time. That's where it broke? Yes. The only time it failed to protect. You? No. Someone I shared my coat of arms with. Oh. I, I see. It's a sad memory to keep, then. Some memories don't want to be let go of, child. I think I know what you mean. Hey, you two! The sail's pulling port side. I need a hand. Go pull the rope on the other side. I'll give you some slack on mine. Understood. No, I'm not ready yet. I gotta look around. You can stay there and just 
chill for a while, all right? It was so good to sleep. Oh, an actual bed. There was only one bed here, though. I guess they took turns. Well, I'm kind of curious about the... I've never seen this design before. Not that I know a lot about ships or anything, but the design of the... Um, is usually it's a wheel, right? But Sophia's piloting the thing with like a, a stick. I wonder what the mechanism underneath looks like. Wow, she certainly has some real treasure down here. Let's take something. Ah, oh, beds. More beds. Cool. Oh, it makes me so nervous seeing books on a ship. I feel like it's all gonna just get wet. Hugo, are you alright? Did you want to talk? Alright. I'm gonna pull the thing. Or I can ignore everybody. Nope. Okay, we gotta pull the thing. Got it! I just love this. It's good on my side. Anna? Me too. Well done. Fantastic. Now we continue? Oh. Now we help out Sophia. Is the island still in sight? We're approaching it. Did Sophia teach you how to pilot a boat? She did indeed. She just gave me a stick and called it a day. <laughs> Mind spending some time with your old sister? <laughs> You're not old. Say, how does Sophia know the way to Lacuna? Tools, probably. There might be some around. Or we can ask her. Yes! Okay. Hey. Hey, the terrible siblings of the storm. It looks like someone has a question. How do you know the way to Lacuna? The sea is so big. Easy. Sirens. They know Ooh. all the routes. What? Where are they? Can I see one? <laughs> They're pretty shy, you know. That's why I also use tools and maps. It's very <laughs> technical, but I'm clever, so... Oh, yes. Sirens are easier. Do you mind if we take a look at some of your tools, Sophia? No, but don't break them. Or I throw you overboard. <laughs> I'm not joking. Oh. <laughs> Your tools are here? It smells funny. Yes. It smells like dozens of different places at the same time. Or like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> that crossbow saved our life. We wouldn't have made it without Joseph. I'm sure he's happy you have it. Yes. I'll try to prove worthy of it. Oh, He was just doing a transportation job and look at how that ended. It's the Mediterranean Sea. It's pretty. And useful. Sophia uses it to tell which island is the right one. Hey, look at that. Wow. Is it a diamond? I don't think so, but it's definitely of value. Let's not touch it. No, we should touch all the things. Touch everything. Sophia, do you mind if we look below board? Down to the hold. Whew. Is this really all hers? I suppose so. Unless she stole from her crew. Now this will interest you. Oh, what is it? It's an astrolabe. Father told me once that you use it to find your way by the stars. Oh! Can we try it now? Maybe at night. We'll see. Hmm. Hey, look! A compass! Can I hold it? Yes, but be careful. It's heavy. That needle always shows where north is. He moves when I move! <laughs> well, just stop moving then. Here! The island is in the south, right? Right where we're heading. Can I keep it to play? Yes, but don't break it, unless you want to face Sophia. Oh, she's keeping it. We should ask. 
just keeping it seems kind of could have been like a valuable compass who knows climb fast all right Hugo and Amicia on deck yes we're here we know hmm guess Hugo doesn't want to talk to Arno listen all I'm Captain Darun and I say we're going south the compass says so so you all listen to the compass our great leader the compass <laughs> Ah, <sighs> Hugo is so cute. It's not right that he's suffering this much. Oh, there's a city here. It's not just some deserted island. Which is the impression that we got from Hugo's dream. Huh. I'll fix a few things here, and I'll join you later. Fine. We'll take a tour while it's still light, and find a place to sleep. Sounds good. By the way, this land is under the Count's law. Be nice. See? I see. Hey, if we traveled by boat to another island, can the rats still follow us? Somehow, I feel like the answer is yes. Welcome to Lacuna. This is for you, my child. Oh, we're so honored by your presence. Thank you. Looks like we have a new king. Good King Hugo. That's right. During the brighter days, all children are kings. Just like the child of embers who watches over our island. Your presence is a blessing because you are the future, just like him. For he'll deliver all of us from the darkness. Please, enjoy the festivities. Thank you. Goodbye. Wow. That's a pretty good start, no? I wonder what the church would think of this. But they seem successful. Pray that we're successful. Well, come on, your majesty. Child of embers. <laughs> Hey, we arrived during a festival again. Where in my dream, Amicia? It's the most beautiful place I've seen. It's very beautiful, yes. But now we need to find whatever called you here. Welcome! The market is just up the street. Plenty for you to see. Let's go, quick! Yes. So quiet. A different kind of port city from the other place. Do we need to unload more? Oh, later. I'm exhausted. Me too. This year's market is crazy. Maybe we should have Hugo drink a sip of the water on the side here just to see if it <laughs> helps cure him. It's the calm before the storm. We all know it. Enjoy it while it lasts. Hey, wait, wait. So, I heard of this dream, and, well, I'd like to help. But first, I must know what you're searching for. All right. So it's... Uh, it's a bit strange, but... Well... Go on, Hugo. Yes! In my dream, I woke up on the beach, and I was sick and scared. But a big bird came, and I followed him. I thought I was dying, but the bird showed me water that healed me. And there was a huge tree, too. And that's where I wake up each time. Good. So, bird, tree, and water. <laughs> Could be anywhere. But I guess it's a start. We can ask at the market. Come on. Hi, good sir. Have you seen a place with a bird, tree, and water? Well, it was a big bird. Really big bird. Oh, it's amazing! So many colors. And perfumes. Amicia, can we ask 
ask people about my dream. Uh, you shouldn't tell them that it's a dream. And don't ask too many people. You never know. Yes. I'll ask. Which ones do we ask? Fresh fruits. Straight from our mother's garden. Your mother? Is this like a religious gathering? Come see my flowers. Perfect for the festivities. Sorry. Can I? <laughs> the other side. Roasted pork's ready. Who wants some? Me. Hello, sir. Would you... Is there a magic pond here? With birds and trees? <laughs> <sighs> I'm not from here, you know. I just come for the market. Maybe you have a bird? No. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> you were very helpful. You're about as subtle as you are tall. What? Let's see the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine Hugo growing oh. up, like maybe 10 years from now? All right. Let's try and ask someone here. He'd be so much taller than Amicia. Good work with the decorations, everyone. Tomorrow's oh, ceremony and if is you still going still to want be to help, we need a hand idea. with tonight's feast. They need help, which means we should leave. I don't want to help them. <laughs> Oh, sorry, sorry. Excuse me. Good afternoon. Hello. We've just arrived, and we heard about a beach with a pond not too far. Hmm. That's very specific. Anyone? Sorry, I really don't know. Me neither. There's also a big tree. <laughs> well, we have lots of big trees. You'll find some up on the plateau. Thank you anyway. Of course. A beach with a pond? Why don't they know? Dreams are tales of the soul, Pipsqueak. Not of this world. We'll ask again. Here, some feathers. This one's dark. Yeah, a bird of prey, I'd say. A small one. Fast predators, smart as hell. That'll suit you. Here. Looking good, Shorty. Smart as hell. <laughs> what a predator you make. Hugo, stop speaking the devil's tongue. Black kite. As a scavenger, it is a fascinating yet misunderstood bird of prey with a low strident call and a graceful silhouette gliding in circles above lakes. In Greek mythology, it is associated with Apollo, the sun god, and embodies a gift of awareness and foresight. The kite's meaning is acceptance of the past and moving forward. If its feather pops up, you will soon experience a drastic change in your life. Ooh, that's ominous. Black Nightshade, a symbol of truth associated by some with demonic witchcraft. The Black Nightshade has many worrisome nicknames, Devil's Herb, Death Cherries, and Beautiful Death. The toxicity of its berries is certainly a factor, consuming them can lead to death. Mm. Oh, it's wonderful what they did with this place. Do you remember when people were leaving for the continent? Yes. For a while, I thought we'd be the last one standing in the village. But we will, my dear. We will. Thanks to your eau de vie. <laughs> true, true. Eau de vie? Wait, Lacuna is French. Why would I say it's Spanish earlier? It's, it should be French, right? <laughs> I mean, I still don't know what it means. It's nice. Very, uh, it's a lot of greens here. The last festival we were at, the place was more developed, so more concrete and all that, but this place... Nature! Trees! All that good stuff. Sorry, sir. The dancers and musicians are now in place. The festivities are about Soldier. to Soldier. Come! <laughs> Can't wait to see that! Let's go! Oh, Amicia! Can we go too? Sure, sounds nice. Are we sure we're gonna be okay? Bright fabric, perfect to wear for the brighter days. Soldiers. <laughs> Olive oil, herbs, everything you need for your table. Oh, they actually do decide a winner. <laughs> the arm wrestling. Fishes, big and fresh, straight from our port.
Hello. Hello there. Would you know of a beach where we could find special birds? <laughs> this is an island, so the birds are mostly seagulls. Not a bird much dreamed of, I'd wager. <laughs> They're bloody thieves, I tell you. It's not a seagull. Let's go. Hey. Thank you, sir. May your day be bright. <laughs> Yours too. Thank you. He knows nothing. <laughs> well, he knows about seagulls. Be patient, Hugo. Big Bird. He doesn't even know what a phoenix is. All we have is Big Bird. <laughs> That's it. Hello, sir. Hello. What can I do for you? Need any spices? Maybe later. We've been told of a pond of water with healing properties. Do you know where it is? Not a clue. But there are many ways to be blessed during the brighter days. Oh, good to know. Is there a big bird on this island? <laughs> There's a few here and there. Maybe you'll see them. Well, thank you for your time. You're welcome. No pond. Maybe birds. <laughs> yes! Yeah, when we ask them about magical ponds, they think we're talking about something religious, but we mean like an actual magical pond. Oh, this year's festival feels busier than usual. <laughs> I think we have twice as many stands as the last one. Growth, economic growth or something. Arno, stop aggressively staring at that lady. Leave her alone. Not many games like the last place though, huh? Mainly people selling stuff and we don't have money. What's over there? Goats! And donkeys. You wanna say hello? Is she nice? Of course she is. Hi. Hi goats. Oh. Uh, go on. Don't be afraid. What's she called? Lucinda. You're a nice goat, Lucinda. She loves you. Really? Oh. Ah! <laughs> there. That's I love you in goat. <laughs> you all right? She screamed at me. That's called bleating. It's how they talk. She's a goat, you know. That's what they do. It's not nice. You were scared, that's all. Let's go. Thank you, sir. Anytime. Goodbye. I must say, she startled me a bit too. That would actually be a good way to disorientate an enemy. <laughs> Can't wait to hear you bleat into battle. <laughs> Next time, maybe. Scream at him. Hello. <coughs> Hello. Nice, nice. Excuse me, miss. <laughs> Sorry, little... Or little gigantic goose. Now oh, the people moved. Hmm. Did you know goats don't have front teeth? Just like some of my men. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems like that might be it for now. Soldiers here, a little bit wary about that. I can't use any of my weapons right now. It's probably a good sign. Hello, mister. He's wearing the color of bees. Should we be worried about the Count's army here? They look pretty quiet. Mm, different captain, different men, different land. Don't think so. Good. I hope there will be a dragon man. And I'd like to see a dragon man too. There's more. Everyone's just chilling out. Is this like a different country entirely? I'm not really sure. Game of skill! Come try your skill! Oh, game. Ooh. Let's have a look. Another pot game? Play for free! And maybe grab the child of Ember's attention! Good day. Can we play? Sure. It's simple. Throw a pot through each crown. 
It's over when you're out of pots. Never shoot twice at the same crown. Understand? Okay. Fine. Let's see how I do. You win. No time limit? I'll judge you harshly if you don't. Please, I'm trying to focus. Like you want it in... Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Oh no. Good start! We're just breaking the pots? Is that okay? It seems kind of wasteful. Yes! Keep going! Slaughter them crowns! <laughs> Why don't we use balls? That's gonna be a lot more recyclable. <laughs> Bullseye! Impressive indeed. Child's play. Maybe. No! Oh, damn. No! no! Thanks. <laughs> Not too good either. You did well. Don't listen to him. Anyway, let's go see the rest. I'm so upset. I cannot believe it. That last... Oh, That's... I just want to see. In the souvenir section, does it... Game of... No, I want to see what's on the bottom. Oh, I'm so upset. Oh, well. It is what it is. <laughs> I blame... I blame... There's nobody I can blame besides me. <laughs> Guess a little trajectory estimate thing. I wasn't reading it properly. Oh well, whatever. It's okay, Hugo said I did good. That's all that matters. Go away, Arno. I don't need your approval. You're not my dad or anything. Oh, my dad. All this wasn't in my dream. But I love this place! It's all so dreamlike, yes. Islands can be nice little havens, but they're fragile ones. Oh, don't get gloomy. Ooh, what's going on over there? Is there a wedding or something? That's a lot of people. Hello, Mr. Horse. They must be about to start. Please, stick to the rhythm, all right, Lucy? No improvisation. I sing for the Child of Embers, and he needs energy! Child of all Embers. All right, focus, please. We're going soon. Hurry up! Last year was so great. You, you think they'll do better? I know they've been rehearsing for months. I hope they'll cross the main square once again. It's the best moment. Do I have to go closer to see? Maybe. What are they doing exactly? Is it just the the singing? The chance got bigger. Who's this child of embers anyway? A local deity, obviously. It's St. John's Week on the continent. The summer solstice. So it's probably all about fertility and prosperity. Is he magical? He's a god. Pagan one. Peaceful one. Yes. A child. A child god. Sounds like somebody we know. Arno, stop getting in the way. Get out of here. Please. I'm taking up like half the street. Is there a red theme going on? Oh? No, really? Okay. Arno, please! Dude, he's like taking up half the block. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh! Dances! Let me see dances! <laughs> I see that. You know how to dance this, Arno? Do I look like it? Oh, you never know. I'd like to see you dance. <laughs> You're 30 years too late, lad. I'll imagine it then. <laughs> the walk of devotion has begun. The procession is coming. Let me see you quick. Blessed be the child of Endless. Blessed be the mother. Wait. Hello. Oh, wait, wait. Hello. Would a child of embers, would a phoenix not be a child of embers? Oh, they're coming, they're coming. Like this? Blessed be the child! Wait! Oh, ble 
bless the dancers too. Hugo, bless what? it, Hugo! <laughs> oh Lord. It's done. Thank you. Sorry about that. Oh, don't be. He was true to his heart. Now they're blessed for many, many years. You're a savage, Shorty. Let's follow the parade! <laughs> Let's go wreak havoc somewhere else. That was... Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just took the whole thing and dumped it down. Okay. I want to see the Child of Embers. I like blessing people. I really wonder why. Will we actually see like a... Like somebody dressing up as a child of embers, or is it gonna be a statue? What are we gonna see? They're up there! Quick, quick! Calm down, we'll catch up with them. Colors are very phoenixy too. Orange, red. Look, you can see our boat. I wish Sophia was here. She'll come. She'd never miss a pint of good ale. Come, or we'll miss our singers. Well, let's go. It is the mother! <gasps> a crowd. What's going on? Everyone's wearing red. That must be their color. Where is she? She should have been here already. Oh, the count! Oh, no. Sorry, sire. Like the actual count? He's here? All right. Yes. You all know me. I'm not a man of words. Emily, your priestess, she will be here soon. She will open these brighter days with her beautiful words. The words of a mother. The mother of the child of embers. The child who protects what? his sacred land. It's him. From Come. the rats of disease what? and war. The rats. No, wait. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, Arno. It's, it's the Count Amicia. We had a deal. Call your rats. Wait, what? That was your deal? You saved me so he would murder the Count for you? You survived. That comes with a price. No! You don't take advantage of a child and call it a deal, Arno. We came all this way for him. You won't ruin that. Fuck it. I don't need you. Whoa! No! Arno! Well, let him be, let him I be, let him be. it. I won't miss this time. I'll take care of him. Catch the girl. No, no, this is not our fight. Run. Yeah, go. Let's go, dude. Now they're they're after us too. What the heck, Arno? Run, Hugo. But Arno. To hell with him. Go oh. To me, Stop. Quick. No, no. Hey, you. Through him. What is he thinking? In the middle of the crowd? Hugo, you didn't tell me about your deal? Should have seen it coming. This is why you can't trust people, Hugo. Nothing ever stays nice. It always turns bad. Always. Why? <sighs> We're going back. It's too late. No. Things aren't always nice, but you can change them. How? The way we always do. We fight. We stop Arno before he does more damage. We save your dream. What do you want to do, Amicia? We can't save him. We're just two kids. We need a way back. A discreet one, if possible. Are you serious? What are you going to do going back? What if Arno is dead? Or he killed the Count? We'll improvise, remember. Are we good at this? We bloody are. Amicia, you got to take care of Hugo, too. We're not that... I'm not that attached to Arno, okay? Okay, I see a shiny chest up there. How do we get up there? How do we get up there? We're in a stable. There has to be something.
Can I go inside? I see you, I'm not leaving without you. It's just a matter- I'm scared if we cross the stable border, it's gonna take us away. I'm gonna be so angry if that's the case. <laughs> I don't see anything here though. So maybe we do have to cross. Any... Anything we can break? Any shiny thing? Not that I can see. Okay, let's... Let's cross. Oh. Okay, there's a little dot there, but we can't touch it. This door, the square should be right behind it. But how do I get up there? All right, let's get to work. Same issue still. Tons of tools, not enough pieces. Oh, you go. Go on, Hugo. Uh-huh. Could you please Hugo. open that for me? Thank you. Let's get that cart in place. Fantastic. Up and over. Yes, yes, my sweet. My Together. sweet sulfur. By the way, why did Arno attack the Count? He said that it's because of the Count that his shield is broken. He killed his friend? The friend he couldn't save? Come on. Up. Up we go. Up. Very well. Good. Now, careful. They had some kind of, um... A past? It's not just about soldiers versus mercenaries. What do we have here? Not enough pieces is what? Only 10 pieces? Can I get anything with that? I can check again. Time to get to work. Nope, nothing. Nothing. Ugh. Pain. Climb up. Yes. <sighs> Hurry! The count's being attacked! Go! I'll keep watch for the others. Let's try to follow them. Oh, they disbanded. Party's over. <sighs> oh! Found you! No, no. Hurry! Get down! The others are busy, but my birds were three of them! It's trying to kill. Can you stop it? It's too fast. Get me before I aim. We need to keep that falcon occupied. I'll try to lure it away. We'll move from cover to cover when it attacks. Get ready. I know where you are. Falcon reacts no quickly to, to your sight and any noise. Stay behind cover. Use your tools and the environment to distract them. Reacts quickly to sight and noise. I have a pot. I've got one pot. That ain't gonna work well. Oh, we have a shiny thingy-ma-bob. <laughs> Stupid. Quick. What? What? Oh my god! I was crouching. Do we have to distract it with a little... little... Noisemaker. What? I'm not gonna use my one pot for this. Oh no, I have to throw up. Ah, this works better. Fly! That pot is scary. But stupid. Hell Just stick with me, it'll be fine. Get them! Let's go now to cover. Finally bring me back their eyes! Damn bird. Why doesn't it ever come back on the return trip? <laughs> go, go, go. Oh, yeah, I see a fire. Game? Let's play. You think you're such a such a man or whatever? You're, you're freaking hiding behind your bird. 
Why am I letting that do it? Attack. Yeah, go attack the fire, dummy. Where do I go from here? Oh, there's another shiny thing. How do I get closer? This is pretty close already, isn't it? There's another shiny thing. That's too far. Go now. You'll make a mistake at some point. Here. Am I trying to go to the stairs? Quick. Come on. Oh. Duh. Bird. <laughs> Whoa, you're so. Why did we light that up? I don't know. Where am I going? That's my. I guess we're going off to the side. Bring me back their eyes. Get them. This is basically right where I'm standing already. Come on, go. Attack. Dummy bird. Okay, that fire was entirely pointless. <laughs> it was just a distraction, I think. Oh, that was close, but we did it. That bird was awful. Now where's that damn Arno? Hopefully that wasn't the bird we were looking for. Listen, sword noises. Yes, yes, quick. We can't fight. Amicia, we can't... We can't take on a whole army. Oh. Here. The Count's alive. Can you stop him? Shut up! I'll kill you like I killed your men! You'll die anyway. And for what? The past is the past. I don't care! Came to get revenge on the Count? <sighs> what do we do? Traitor! You did this to yourself! So this is his army? A girl and a boy? No! Wait! Victor, stop! Emily. Oh, the priestess? Don't get carried away. She helped. They're not a threat. Of course, my love. I'll kill you, bitch, Count! I'll teach you what it is to lose what you care for! You've always been a disgrace to the knighthood, Arno. And you've been a pain in my ass for too Are you long. all right? Lock him up. I'll handle that later. So where do you know this beast from? We shared a boat and had time to chat on the way, but I didn't know he was after you, sire. Now, if you're not bandits, who are you? Amicia. And this is... Hugo, my brother, he's a bit afraid. Well, don't be. There was more fright than danger. These days are dedicated to life and peace. Would you agree to be our guests for dinner? Are you sure? I mean... Sure. Emily's right. You helped, you deserve it. Come with us. Oh, the count is different for every place, right? So this is the count of this island. They don't know about all the rat stuff, I guess. I thought we came back to help Arno or something, but no, we <laughs> we came back to stop him from killing the Count. From making more mistakes, apparently. Oh my god, this is a villa. Hugo, come. No one's gonna even ask where my parents are. So, how do you like our terrace? This is really your house. <laughs> this is home. It's... Incredible. Come, come inside. Amicia wasn't poor. Amicia and Hugo, they weren't poor, but this is this is well off. Oh my god. Do you mind if I just ignore your invitation and walk around? They're waiting for 
Artemisia. Yes, let's go back. <laughs> this place is amazing. We'll have plenty of time to wander around later. Yes, we're coming. Sorry. Calling me out, excuse you. Oh, it's big! It is. And it's only a small part of the palace. Oh, do you fancy some dates before we show you to your room? Dates? What is it? A fruit, Hugo. Can I? Come on. Sure, Your Grace. Please go easy, Hugo. Yes. I know this all looks pretty formal, but please. Here I'm not Your Grace. I am the mother. I am myself, so be yourself. Yes. During the brighter days, all the people of Lacuna are one, united around the Child of Embers. So? I love it! Ha <laughs> ha! A bon vivant. Be careful, they're very rich. So where are you from? Guyenne. We fled the war and the plague. <laughs> we came here hoping for a better life. And we heard of this island. You were right to come here. Let's keep going. You must be tired after this adventure. It's amazing. I know. Can't wait to see our room. Immediately made her talk after putting that data in her mouth. <laughs> oh, we can't go. With the Countess? The Countess is also the Priestess and also the Mother? I thought Priestess... Uh, in my head, any like religious figure, Priests and Priestesses... They're kind of far removed from... Money and power. Well, on the front anyway. But she's the Countess and a Priestess? And living in this fancy villa? Interesting. Even got fancy music playing somewhere. Agnes, go get a room ready for two, please. Certainly, Mother. She's her mummy. No, it's <clears throat> symbolic. And these are our gardens. My favorite part. Splendid. Finally, they clean to the basins. Yes, aren't they nice? You're quite young for such a long trip. Where are your parents? Dad mummy is somewhere, but Dad was killed. By who? How? Uh, Hugo. Victor, don't be so military. <laughs> you know me. Come next to me, Hugo. Yes. You see those plants? Most of them are not from here, but we managed to make them grow anyway. And they look great. Thanks to a lot of love and care. We are just like them, you know. We drink water. <laughs> and we need a good soil, love and care. This land is open to you, if you wish to keep growing here. But of course, the big sister will decide. Right, Amicia? Thank you so much. Those were kind and true words. Let me show you something else. Victor? Of course, my Come, love. Hugo. The land here is strong. The child of embers breathes life into it. We created the brighter days to celebrate him. In the hope he'll come back to us, as it is foretold. To us? His mother and father. And to the people. I don't like this. Child of Embers. We won't, we, we have one child right here. It's gotta be linked in some way. They were kind words that she gave me, but I don't know. I, I don't know how to feel when you treat me this nicely. Nobody's ever treated me this nicely. I'm used to being hunted down. We pray to him, not as a god, but as our long sleeping child. We love and revere him to revive his flame. Would you pray with me? You can do it in your own way. Sure. Hugo? I'll pray to the bird. Bird. The bird and the child. Oh, but we have a child here, and then there's a bird here. A humble flame to light his night. And may he rise. A sun. A sun. So bright. So bright so bright thank you i appreciate it shall we go uh sorry mother could we take some time to pray for our father hugo yes of course i understand i'll wait for you come when it is done dear father hugo is it really your bird take a good look at it oh yes i feel it it has the same beak and I just 
know it. Good. Very good. Let's go back to them. And no word about that to anybody here, all right? It's our secret. I know. Mm, if we... I feel like we could say some things, like... You know, uh, my brother is sick and... He had a dream that... A magical pawn... Where he was led to by a, a big bird... Okay, never mind, we can't say this. <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll make do. We'll, we'll figure it out. But I'd love to learn more about your Child of Ember's legend, the story and all that. We can say that. Is everything ready for tomorrow? Yes. The new robes look wonderful. It will be perfect. Excuse me. Oh. Shall we go? Sure. What's tomorrow? I must say, we appreciate that you paid homage to the child so willingly. Every child bears the future of the world. One child can change everything. That is very true. I wonder if they've heard about the rat plague here. I don't even know if Hugo could call on the rats like that, if he really wanted to. Arno was counting on it, but I don't even know if that's possible. Here it is. Go on. This is too much. Nonsense. You're our guests. There's a good dinner being cooked. A real dinner, Amicia! Shh! Oh, we'll need to get you some new clothes. It looks like you had a long journey. Are you going to kill Arno? Sugar. He will be judged. All those who do bad things are, and he did a lot. But you will have the chance to testify if you wish to do so. But enough of that. We'll leave you to rest. Tomorrow, feel free to enjoy Lacuna. Brighter days are the best time for it. Brighter days. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> My lady. They bear the same colors as the soldiers on the mainland, though, so it's all part of the same thing. Oh. Beds are great. Try jumping on them. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Shoes off, though, please, Hugo. Oh my god, are you. <sighs> please, children, please! 